Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox, and I'd like to welcome you to the Daily Compliance News. The Daily Compliance News is an offering of the Compliance Podcast Network. February 1, 2019, the I Cannot Believe It's February edition. First up, a story from the Financial Times about Donske Bank, who looks like they're going to be paying and paying and paying from their $200 billion money laundering scandal. It may take many, many years for Donske Bank to pay up. Of course, they're going to be fined by the uh, Danish banking authorities, but beyond that, there's been a shareholder derivative action filed, and U.S. regulators are looking at them in addition to uh, other regulators. So it's going to be a long, painful lesson for Donske Bank. On the flip side, we have a story from CNBC about anti-corruption that does pay, and that's the anti-corruption sweep which was engaged in by Saudi Arabia when it swept up all the royals uh, back uh, last fall. In uh, the article, uh, it says that Saudi Arabia raised $106 billion dollars from corrupt royal officials and royal family members in this uh, sweep. No word if uh, the same tactics were threatened that they used against Mr. Khashoggi in the Turkish embassy. Next up, we have an article about um, PG&E, who's unfortunately a run of very, very, very bad actions continues. This is a story about uh, their uh, hearing in a federal judge, which said that um, he, uh, the company PG&E had violated a previously put in place DPA and injunction uh, against the company uh, basically engaging in the behavior in which they did allowing uh, numerous wildfires that related to the legal settlement for the 2017 wildfire. Uh, this uh, injunction uh, in it, PG&E said that they would um, remediate, and apparently they have not done so, and the judge apparently went off on them. This is unrelated to the bankruptcy hearing, uh, but certainly uh, it will be considered as a part of it. But the federal judge has his own powers and can seriously find the company. Finally, um, I ask a question, what is due diligence in connection with the uh, faux investment by Foxcom in Wisconsin? And one of the great charades of all time, uh, former Governor Scott Walker uh, basically gave the state away to get Foxconn to come and build a plant of, to employ 20,000 Wisconsinonians. Um, now Foxconn said they are shocked, just shocked to find that the cost of manufacturing in the United States is prohibitive for them and that they will actually not be doing any manufacturing at the plant. Uh, you have to wonder what new information came to light, uh, which gave Foxconn this information, that it's cheaper to build parts in places like Taiwan, Japan, and South Korea. What is due diligence indeed? This is Tom Fox. If you have any ideas for the daily compliance news, please feel free to email me at tfox at tfoxlaw.com. I'd love to hear from you. This is Tom Fox. I'm the Compliance Evangelist. As you may know, we've had several new offerings on the Compliance Podcast Network. One of those includes Popcorn and Compliance, where Jay Rosen and I take a look at compliance through the lens of movies, both current, contemporary movies, and classic movies. Also premiering in December and Finally, Mary Shirley and Lisa Fine have premiered their new podcast, Great Women on Compliance. I hope you will check that out. It's a great podcast series. We have several other offerings that we are in production and will go live after the first of the year on the Compliance Podcast Network.